Welcome back to the Doug the Tech Guy YouTube channel. Here's what we have for you today. This is the uh, the night stereo amplifier I was talking to you guys about in the introduction video. Um, this is a push-pull tube amplifier. It features EL84 power output tube and 12 AX7 preamp tubes. Um, it's rated at 24 watts output power. Um, that is bridged mono. Um, even though this is a stereo amplifier, it does have a mono switch on the front, which was kind of why I was interested in it, uh, to kind of convert it into a guitar amp. Um, so we, we could bridge both channels and get, get full power output. Um, so the, uh, the plan with this amp is, is to do, you know, quite a bit of modification to this thing. Um, I've got, you know, kind of a lot of plans in mind. Uh, you use this kind of as, a, as a, an experimentation platform. Um, and, and I'll go into that a little bit more, but um, I'm going to give you a shot of what this amp looked like when I picked it up. Um, there is the face shot. Now, I don't like the way this thing looks. Um, there, there's some condition issues on the front there in the bottom left corner. It's kind of hard to see, but there, there's some, uh, some of the white stuff is kind of rubbed off and there was some pitting on the face and whatnot. Um, I did go ahead and sand this face smooth so there's no markings on the front. I'll kind of show you what it looks like right now. Come over here. This is what the amp looks like right now. Um, I just went ahead and put some temporary labels on the face. I, I think I'm going to paint the face of this black and change the knobs and, you know, do some different stuff to, to completely change the looks. Like I said, I, I didn't like the way it looked to, to begin with and, you know, the, on top of the condition issues. So I, I'm going to completely change all that. Now, I, I've already done some stuff to this amp. I've already checked it out on the bench and whatnot. I'll, I'll kind of zoom in. We did already install a quarter-inch guitar input jack there on the front, uh, as you can see there. Um, also, I've uh, done some modifications to the top cover. Uh, I went ahead and installed a couple handles, one on each end, so we can move it around easier when it's all done. Um, also installed a quarter inch speaker cab output jack in the, uh, the left back corner, as you can see there. Um, so uh, it'll make it easier to plug it into an, an external cabinet. Um, and one of the cool things about this amp is the, the output transformers are already tapped for 4, 8, or 16 ohms. Um, so it gives you, you know, quite a few different options as far as what speakers you want to connect to it. Here's kind of a shot of the top of the chassis. Um, now we've got two 12AX7 preamp tubes that have been removed there. Th those two were for the magnetic and crystal uh, phono input stage. Um, so I don't have those tubes in there right now. I've actually stripped that, that part of the circuit completely out of the amp. Um, so now I, I think what I'm going to do at this point here is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to get you guys up on the tripod so we can have a better look at the underneath side of this thing. So I will be right back. Okay, so I got you guys up on the bench here, got the camera mounted on the tripod. Uh, just want to point out we've got our output transformers here. Uh, we've got our power transformer here. Now I did go ahead and remove the, uh, the preamp, or excuse me, not the preamp, but the power output tubes there in the back because I need to flip this thing over and th those tubes are kind of tall. I don't want to take a chance on breaking the tops off. The two 12AX7s here in the front, those are fine. Um, they don't protrude out the top of the case. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this thing over here really quick. Okay, so we got a shot at the underneath side of this thing. I'll kind of move over here really quickly. Now, the, this area right here is where I've stripped out the uh, the phono input circuit uh, that was in this amp. Um, made room for some stuff I'm going to do back there. I've kind of tidied up some of the wiring back here with some zip ties to kind of pull stuff out of the way. Um, also, uh, you can see our quarter inch input lead coming over here. I I've got a couple terminal strips that we're going to reutilize that were part of that photo input stage when I, when I put the circuitry in here that, that I'm going to replace that with. Um, also over on this side, as you can see over here, um, this had the original two wire cord on this still. Uh, no panel mount fuse or anything, so I did go ahead and replace it with a three wire cord. Uh, put an inline fuse holder in there with a one and a half amp fuse to, to give you some protection. Um, one of the cool things about this amp is it, it uses these brown drop capacitors. There, there weren't, weren't a bunch of electrolytics in there that needed to be changed or anything. Um, I am, however, going to change the two can capacitors because I'm, I'm assuming that those, those are probably out of tolerance. Um, they usually go bad over time. Um, I did check all the rest of the resistors and capacitors and everything is within tolerance so there's there's no big issues um, or anything that needs to be really addressed or changed in there other than this resistor here was fried. Um, it, it overheated, couldn't really read the color bands or anything on that so I, I did replace that resistor. I kind of had a guess at the value because I don't have a schematic for this thing at this point. Um, but. Uh, when this thing originally came to me, it had a really loud hum. 
Um, now after going over the circuits, um, checking everything out, replacing the, the burnt resistor and putting the three wire cord and everything on it, that hum is pretty much gone. The amp is pretty quiet now. Um, so um, that took care of that little problem. Um, now kind of what my plan is here with this, and some of you might, might cringe at this because of this being a tube amp, um, but I want to get as much dirt and gain out of this thing as I possibly can. Um, so I've kind of been toying with ideas. Um, initially I was going to use the two extra tube sockets that the, the 12 AX7s in, in the the, uh, the phono input stage and, and tie all that into the uh, the 12 AX7 that, that's feeding the rest of the stereo amplifier uh, to give this thing a little bit more gain. Um, but I, I, I think what I want to do is I'm going to put a solid state circuit in, in front of that first preamp tube um, because I, I don't know if going the tube route if I'm going to get the type of gain out of this that I really want. Um, now what I, I may do is after I put in the solid state circuit that, that I want to use as far as distortion is I may go ahead and, and, and utilize those two tube sockets. I haven't decided yet until I do some experimentation. Um, but one of the other things that I've done in order to facilitate that is I've utilized the power outputs in the back um, and I've actually installed this transformer that, that's switchable. Um, this thing will actually go up to 12 volts, so it, it'll be kind of interesting to experiment with the circuit that I put in there uh, at, at 9 volts and, and 12 volts as far as the uh, power being fed into the circuit. So that'll give me a little bit more, um, a little bit more stuff to play around with there. So now, it, it, as far as the circuit idea that I, I think I want to go with, I, I've looked at quite a few different circuits, distortions, boosters, so on and so forth. Um, but what I've kind of decided on, at least what I'm going to start with. Um, is a circuit from a Sola Sound Tone Bender MK 1.5. Um, I kind of came across this and hadn't really heard of this before. Um, it wasn't until, like I said, I started researching some different circuit ideas for this amp that uh, that I came across this. Um, apparently, Jimmy Page used one of these Sola Sound Tone Benders. Um, I, I I think that. Uh, uh, Hendrix may have even used one at one point as well, but what, what this thing is is very similar to a, uh, to a fuzz face circuit. Um, the, uh, the Dunlop fuzz face circuit uh, I, I think probably just uses some different values here or there on a couple of the components, but uses the same basic circuit. Um, and um, I've listened to comparisons uh, between the fuzz face and the solo sound, and I really liked the sound from the solo sound tone bender better than I do the fuzz face. Um, now, the circuit can be built using the germanium transistors that were in their original design, and there, there's been a few different uh, transistors that have been used in, in, the, in the tone bender circuit, at least over the years. Um, the original transistors that they use in there are, are kind of hard to come by and they're kind of expensive. You're talking, you know, 35, 40 bucks for a couple transistors if you can find them. Um, so I have a few other options of some, some cheaper, easier to get germanium transistors. I, I kind of want to stick with those you know, from the, the sound comparisons that, that, that I listened to. The more modern silicone transistors just didn't sound as good. So um, I, I think I'm going to go with that. And we'll see how it sounds with uh, with that circuit in there initially, um, and kind of go from there. Like I said, I, I might utilize those other tube sockets and, and make this kind of a hybrid um, between a, a tube and a, and, a, and a transistor, you know, type of a, a, a preamp circuit to really give this thing some gain. Um, the amp I, I've already tested the amp as I've said. Now I ran I use. Um, I use a Native Instruments Guitar Rig 5. It basically is my guitar setup. Um, now, I've ran that through this amp, you know, basically used the guitar rig as a, as a preamp circuit. Um, and, and the amp, as it sets right now, sounds really good. It gets quite loud. It sounds nicely with the guitar rig running through it. Um, but that's not how I want to utilize this amp. I just want to have this as kind of like a little standalone amp I can just plug directly into and just get some badass dirt out of the thing. That, that, that's kind of my, my goal with this. Um, and, and then, like I said, I, it, 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 it would be nice. I'm not going to completely just make it a straight up guitar amp. I am going to keep it where the, uh, you know, the, the clean stereo circuit can still be used if we want to just, you know, listen to some music, you know, in stereo. Um, but it'd be nice to have that, you know, switch it to mono, plug in a guitar, and, and, and get some dirt and use it as a guitar amp if I want. 
Um, like I said, my plan is just to use it as an experimentation platform. Um, like I said, I, I, I think in the end we're going to end up with a hybrid circuit between you know transistor dirt um, and, and, and maybe a boost circuit or, or, or something like that. I'll, like I said, I, I, I think before it's over, I'll utilize the tubes, those other two tube so sockets as well. So, um, but anyway, that's kind of an initial you know look at this and kind of my overall plan. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions, I mean, I'd, I'd love to hear them. Um, this uh, this amp, I think, should make a cool little guitar amp project when it when it's done. Um, now I've already, you know, like I said, I've already tested all the all the capacitors, all the resistors, everything's within tolerance. Uh, I've cleaned all the tube sockets, I've cleaned the tube pins, I've cleaned and lubed the pots and switches, and you know, just kind of went over the whole amp. Um, just to make sure everything is in, in good shape and that it, it's a sound little amp, you know, kind of to start with. But like I said, o over and above the circuit design changes I'm going to make, like I said, I'm completely changing the looks. I will be painting the face and relabeling it and repainting the, the top cover and all that. I'll probably put some bigger feet on the bottom. And like I said, I did put the handles on the case so it's easier to, to grab a hold of and kind of move around. Um, so got, got a lot of stuff, you know. That, that I want to do to this. I think it should be pretty cool when it's all done. But um, so we'll just kind of call this, you know, part one of the of the night tube amp build. Um, it, you know, as I do more work on this thing, we'll, we'll upload more videos that kind of you know chronicle the, the other stuff that I do to this amp. Um, but anyway, that's about it for now on this. Um, so if you guys like the video, uh, please hit the like button. Uh, you know, if, if you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, like I said before, kind of want to get the channel kind of built up. We need subscribers to do that. So, you know, uh, everything helps there. So, um, also in the description of the videos, um, I went ahead and put a, a list of, you know, pretty much all my main tools and equipment that I use. Um, I've also put a download link. If anybody's in the guitar rig, I did put the preset that I use um, in the description so you can download that if you want. Um, and also before we kind of call this quits, I will kind of give you a look at the at the circuit of the Sola sound here. That's that's what it looks like. That's what we're going to end up building and putting in that space. And then, like I said, we'll we'll go from there and and uh, you know see what else I want to do. But but that'll get us a start. Like I said, that'll give this amp a nice dirty sound, um, but yet you know nice and creamy too at the same time. So, but anyway, that's about it for now. Like I said, hit the like and subscribe button if you would. Um, and we'll catch you on the next video.